Hi guys, hello, welcome to my channel or welcome back. I'm Lola and this is my dog Google. So she will help me today and I have three projects. I will update uh, stuff I bought from thrift shop. So stay with me and let's do something today guys. guys I will show you my projects today so we will start with this so this is like a small cabinet or a spice cabinet or you can make it as a pharmacy cabinet and the price is three dollars so I will update the color because uh, it's a bit rough already and then this mailbox I got this for five dollars it's all still good I just don't like the colors it's like a off yellowish white so today is all about uh, updating colors and get the last one the smallest one but the most expensive one is $6.99 seven basically if you can see it's a sloppy paint job like the the beak of this one is up to here silver color it's just not clean and i don't like the color combination like beige silver it's not really my color so i will update it and i will make this as a planter maybe for succulent or cactus and it will be my color i like so let's get on to the project guys okay guys obviously i need to clean these pieces first before i paint it outside because these items they're they've been sitting in my basement for some time months and they're collecting dust and i don't want the dust to be under my new fresh coat of paint so i better clean it let's do it
Okay guys, so the mailbox is done, all dry and cured. So I want to put on a stencil right now and I want to put my own name, my own label, I mean from House 548 because I will use this in my studio as a storage. And I want to put the green stripes with this color from Deco Art. So let's get on it guys. Okay guys, for this step, there's no plan or rules. I'm just making stripes with a painter's tape and paint. I keep on adding, I eyeballing it until I love it. So basically that's the way I work. I keep on working on my items until I'm in love with it. So here you can see that I'm adding more stripes until it looks full and my eyes pleased with them. So this is what I did. Just put on the stripes with a painter's tape and on and on and on until I love it. Here you can see that I'm happy with the three stripes and now I'm gonna put a chicken stencil on top of it. I think it will look good. I'm using the white color with acrylic paint from Deco Art I bought from Dollarama. Using my foam brush, I'm just using a dabbing technique, just a little bit paint but do it uh, two, three coats. Now I work on the bottom part of this mailbox. It's the same like what I did with the lid with the top. So I'm just adding stripes with painter's paint. Eh, sorry, I mean painter's tape and paint and do it over and over again until I reach, until I love what I see and that's it. Now my uh, stripes, my grain stripes done, I'm gonna put on a stencil saying Farmhouse 548. I bought this stencil from Hobby Lobby.
Alright guys, that's it for the project today. I hope you enjoy it. And if you do, don't forget to leave me a comment, like, and subscribe because it will help my channel to grow bigger. Thank you so much for visiting my channel and watching my video. See you all again in my next project. Ta-da!